What's going on, Cave Dwellers? Well, we are not in New Jersey, clearly, and not on the couch. So, not on the couch. Whoa. whoa. Almost uh, on the floor. Almost on the floor. But we wanted to bring you guys a little exclusive because we're actually here with a member of, well, actually, the Cave Dweller. So, we wanted to show you his beautiful scenery. And he's going to go around the whole car. <laughs> so, let me tell you. Around the car, we'll do a little intro for you guys. But we're in Virginia right now, and like you say, we don't travel, we travel, guys. And we want to bring you guys everyone's coming out. So, this is what we do, this is what we love, and we're going to keep the brand alive, even though the car's going. The car's gone. Yeah. So, let's no get more. to it, guys. What's up, Andy? He can't, he, you can't hear him because the mic's <laughs> over here. So, I have. David. Hello, cave dwellers. From Williamsburg, Virginia. Williamsburg, Virginia. And he is going to share the Hulk with us today. This is my 2010 Synergy Green Camaro 1LT Synergy Edition. I purchased it in November of 2022. I've done quite a few upgrades chrome wheels, drilled and slotted rotors, MGP caliper covers. Fully ceramic coated and <clears throat> buffed to a nice shine. Original paint has not been touched yet. It will be soon. Carbon fiber door handles. A little carbon fiber vent inserts. Rev9 exhaust. Just to name the short parts of it. Thanks. <laughs> Little six cylinder growl. I like it. I like it. Got a little on the LLT. Have the carbon carbon <laughs> add ons, antenna cover, which there is zero issues with that install. Just I do have silicone around it just to help keep it on because if these antennas have been armor all they will not stick very well <clears throat> interiors pretty much a mix of amazon carbon fiber and carbon add-ons i have the billet door locks carbon door panels different various <laughs> carbon fibers that match it added the two lt gauges to it the plug right into the factory one lt the biggest add-on is the digital octopus radio which has CarPlay, which will lower that music. The AC controls are all digital and still do come up. And for those of you with 2010s that don't have a backup camera, it has a backup camera and we'll show you the backup sensors as well. Go to the passenger side. We're going to the passenger side. Come on the other side. That's the AC control. Check this out, guys. When you put it in reverse, you get your sensors behind you and a camera now. And also for 2010, you now have CarPlay, which of course is giving me a fit right now. There we go. Now it's up. So basically it makes it like a modern Camaro inside. All right, let's check out what's under the hood. Under the hood, we have the hydro dipped in carbon fiber engine cover with a little 3.6 emblem on it. I have the air raid intake system with the air raid filter in the box. Added on some of the RPI designs caps and just a few of the miscellaneous covers, strut tower covers, some polished and billet covers over the brake reservoir and the battery terminal, the fuse box cover, just little things to, to dress it up a little bit. 
do we have the information for the guy who does that? Dead Brand Designs is who made the sign. You Guys, send it him, looks really good in person. You send him your information and he will send you this. He makes them the goals on the air box or on the fuse box. Or the and fuse he makes box. them for the fifth and sixth gens as well as other makes and models. Dude, guys, it's really nice. It's like really thick and heavy and... And I just have it on with... That's what the back of it looks like. And it's... 3M Velcro. Yeah. Hello. Can't fix it, Velcro it. And honestly, it stayed on there. I've driven all the way to North Carolina and back and never had a problem with it. But it's, it's fitting today that... So let's go to the back real quick. Yeah. Exactly. I know what you want to do. It's it's tell fitting me, today. Tell me about this. It's fitting today that we're we're looking at the cars. Today is the third anniversary of the death of my father. In 2010, he had knee replacement, and part of for taking care of him for months was for my birthday that year. He rented me a 2010 Synergy Camaro from Hertz Rental Car. I still have the rental car contract for it, as well as pictures of that rental car where it actually had the Hertz Never Lost GPS system in the car. And I spent 24 hours in that car, and I said, one day, I'm going to have me one of these cars. And I've had many show cars through the years, and I wanted to buy one of these when they were new, and it just wasn't in the cards at the time. And it took me till November of 22 to finally get the car. And I bought it when I moved it to Virginia because I sold all my toys when I left California. And I said, he's the reason why I have this car. And he's the one that started my passion for cars and for Chevrolet. And when it came to this Camaro, I just said, if I'm buying a Camaro, I'm only buying one car. It's a Synergy Green, and it's got to have a sunroof. And Here it is. I found this one on Carvana. And just like buying on Amazon, I'm laying in bed one night and just said, buy. <laughs> and next thing you know, I'm sending them a bunch of money. And Internet. Here's my car, and it was delivered to me. And so you have a picture of your dad with that rental. Yes, I do. You guys, check this out. This is really cool. He has a photo from when him and his dad rented the, the that's, Hertz. That's the picture of my father in 2010 with the rental. And there's a picture of me with it as well. It was in our driveway in California. And it was 24 hours of fun I spent in this car that I never forgot. And when I decided to buy something again, I said that I was going to buy a, a C4 Corvette. And I sat in one and said, this ain't for me. <laughs> yeah. And then I said, well, how about a C5? And I was, my mom goes, I told you no Corvettes. I said, well, I'll get a Camaro. She goes, well, if you get a V6. And I'm like, sure, I'll get a V6. Little does she know this car is probably faster than most of the cars I've had because this V6 still has just as much as any V8. I've road coursed the car and I mostly just enjoy it, go to cruise nights and car shows, but most of all, I just get in and go for a drive. And Jimmy's with you all and the time. My dad's literally with me all the time in this car because he was also cremated and I have a vial of his ashes in the center console that I keep with me at all times. Nice. So I nice. keep that and he always used to carry a $2 bill and I have his $2 bill there with me. I have his watch that I always wear that he left to me and he's always with me while I'm in this car and when I went to the good guys this past April I said to him as I got there I said hey be with me let's see what happens today and I wound up winning an All-American Sunday award for my first show out with it and I nice. said well sure. he's there with me and that was before I did a lot of the stuff I did to it I really just started doing stuff then and that kind of got the bug going for more and there's always more plans and more modifications we just got to Time and money. Yeah, we all know that. <laughs> we all know that all too well. It's a shame that Chevrolet went away with the car that brought a lot of us together. And for me, the fond memories I have from 2010, I'll never, I'll never forget it because I can remember it like it's yesterday. It's like I remember the day he passed as it was yesterday. And that's why I have this car, and that's my passion for Chevy and Camaro. I mean, so, around my neck at all times is always this. He made this for me. He made that. He had it made. That's cool. And it's a 14 karat gold Should made bow tie. And All right, so we ask everybody at the end of their interviews the same question. What does Camaro mean to you? To me, it means family, my father, and fun. Awesome. Awesome. We saw it here, guys, on the cave. See you next time.
Thank you, Dave. Thank you, guys. It was a pleasure to be with you guys. It's a pleasure to meet the cave and pleasure to have our lives we have with everybody. And it's a pleasure to always have the, the banter and communication we have back and forth. It's what makes this thing fun. And keep the faith. We're going to keep this car alive. Absolutely. Thank you.